problem in Britain with so many of our brilliant creative people is that they just don't manage to connect with business. I really want to try and change that and find a way to bring them together. So this is the first day of my Making It quest and I've gone back to my roots. I've come back to where I started, the Royal College of Art. I felt completely inspired when I was here and now I've come to meet someone who I'm told feels the same way. It's called Move It, but where did you get the first idea from for it? Uh, well, this is my graduation project. The basic principle of this is that uh, a customer gets to the shop, they see something on offer or whatever, they go, oh, I really want to take it away. The assistant sticks the parts on the box and off you go. There's two handles and a left and right wheel in this current stage of development. There's a simple strap handle um, and a, a more complicated handle for dealing with the big boxes. The wheels just stick on anywhere. With a combination of these parts, you can carry absolutely any size or shape. So it's unique in that respect. I made the whole thing out of cardboard so that when it's thrown out, uh, it's recycled with the box. Well, I love everything about it. I love the simplicity of it, the fact that it's recyclable, the fact that it's inexpensive to produce. I think there's a huge commercial potential for this, but I think it's got to move on. And I think the thing to do is to try and get it into a major retailer or a major business. It's very difficult for the, the student jettisoned into the world, world you know, no funding, um, manufacturers don't take you seriously. Um, retailers, well, the buyers are inundated with, with a gazillion emails, new products. Uh, it's very difficult to break through. And what do you really need now to make this happen? A good example is, is the wheel part. Um, whilst the UK uh, a company has the capability to make the parts I want, they won't. A, a retail trial doesn't justify the size of order for them to take me seriously. So I'm having like a hundred parts made here, a hundred parts there, but just some muscle behind it really is gonna, gonna kick things into gear, I think. I think what you need then is real demand. You need someone to say, I want a hundred thousand of those. And when you get that, I think everything else will fall into place. <laughs>